Hi y'all folks, this is Max from GalaxyNexusRoot.com So today we're going to learn to back up and restore um, ROMs using your Galaxy Nexus a rooted Galaxy Nexus To do this, you'll have to have um, your Galaxy Nexus rooted and also um, Clockwork Mod Recovery installed which I have full instructions on my site at GalaxyNexusRoot.com um, why would you want to back up and restore ROMs? Um, you know, when you install a new ROM, uh, you want to make a backup of at least one backup of your latest rooted stock ROM. Um, so if something goes wrong, you can always restore it. Or, you know, maybe you can back up a bunch of different ROMs, then you can switch, literally switch from a ROM to another um, using the Clockwork Mod Recovery feature. Um, anyway, let's. Um, Let's do a backup of my latest stock ROM because I want to install new ROMs and before I do that, I want to make a backup. Oh, by the way, I got into safe safe mode. I didn't know how to do that, but I was holding down volume up and volume down and the power button after it booted and it got me in safe mode. Just, just a tip. Um, anyway, turn off your phone and let's get into the recovery portion of your um, Galaxy Nexus. There's other mm -hmm. easier ways to do it, but I'd like to use tell you to do it using the manual method, which is volume up and down and the power button. Hold them down together until you see the Android um, with its stomach open. Alright, and let go. And then you can use the volume down to go to recovery mode and hit the power button. And this will get you into recovery. And I will have to adjust my camera for the brightness of the menu buttons because it will be hard to see them. So, I'm in recovery. Let me adjust my camera real quick. So you can see um, that there's different functions. Um, basically, we're going to make a backup of our current rooted stock ROM. Backup, re and restore, hit the power button. And select backup, hit the power button. And this will back up everything, your ROM, your kernel, your apps, um, except everything except the contents of your mic internal storage or the SD card. Um, anyway, I'll be back when this is done. It should take about five minutes and uh, we will go ahead and uh, you know have a backup of my current ROM before I go install another ROM. Anyway, see you all later. Hi folks, so backup is complete. Um, you can Go to go back and hit the power button. And uh, anytime you want to restore, something goes wrong, your phone doesn't reboot, or um, if you want to switch to another ROM you've backed up, go to backup and restore. And if you go to restore and hit the power button, um, you'll get the timestamp of when you backed it up. You can also connect your um, Nexus. At, you know what? Actually, I'll show you. You can change the folder name. But um, to do that, let's reboot system now, and I'll show you how to change the folder name. So w when you load a bunch of different ROMs, you don't have to be stuck uh, with just one ROM. What I do is I load like 10 ROMs, and I back it up before I make a, uh, whoops, reboot system now. Sometimes that can happen. It should reboot. Come on, reboot. Yes, and sometimes uh, what I do is um, I basically load like six, uh, well, like ten different ROMs, and whenever I install a new ROM, I make a backup of the ROM I I just um, installed, so I can you know, or the current current ROM, so I have you know a list of ten different um, you know ROMs backed up, so I can switch between them if there's a problem. Like sometimes um, this ROM, you know, maybe the GPS and S isn't working, then I can always, um, if I'm not at home next to a PC or some computer, I can always restore to my favorite ROM or even go back to the stock rooted ROM. Um, so to change the file name, um, you just need to go, you need a file manager, um, go to the market and download ES file manager. That's my favorite one. ES. Just type ES on search and you'll get a ES file explorer. Let's install that. Um, install it. Let me adjust the camera real quick. 
So it's installing and we're going to open it and uh, say yes. And um, go to your SD card where internal storage. So that's actually the internal storage. Um, that will open up and you'll see a folder called clockwork mod hit there and you can hit backup and there's the folder I backed up to now you can change the name of it do a long press hit rename and I'll just leave the uh, date but I'll type stock root so anytime you need to unroot your phone you can also restore to the stock root um, your backup and also just take out the super user um, and uh, you will have a fully unrooted phone uh, which I'll have a video of too. Anyway that was how you use Clockwork Mod Recovery um, to back up and restore ROMs. Next uh, we'll have a video on how to install a new ROM and hopefully a ROM review of a new ROM review on the Galaxy Nexus. Anyway subscribe I've got more cool stuff coming, as you guys know, and you guys all rock. Thanks, y'all, and subscribe.